right now we're filming one of the opening parts of the film and uh, our main concern right now is, you know, we don't have all the clearance to film here so we're, we're trying to be as polite as possible and make sure that we don't disturb anyone including the lovely gentleman over here who's sleeping. Um, because this is a script from constraints, I mean the inspiration originally just came from the constraints that Michael gave me. Which is actually why we're here tonight, if you want to point over there. One of the constraints is, uh, must include running desperately. Michael kind of gave me a bunch of constraints that are kind of like classic Michael Tucker movie things. And so it was interesting to have to like put my own spin on it and make the movie a movie that like wasn't just a normal Michael Tucker movie but had a little bit of Alex in it too. So it was cool. It was a nice challenge. What was the most difficult constraint to, to write about? Someone must have the happiest moment of his or her life at the exact same moment as somebody else having the saddest moment of their life. Wow. So, and I don't know if it really comes through in the movie as like the saddest moment of one's life, but it was interesting to have to, to have that in my mind to get to in, in the laundry room scene, you'll see. Ryan's now here, so he's driving the car, Michael's filming, and uh, I think Scott's making sure like consistency and things stay uh, safe in the car. All right, homeless dude just pissed on the wall. Cool. So just another. Yeah, you know. Component. Right. Just to make it interesting. Constraint of man must piss on wall. Check. Right. We got it. Um, but it's looking really good. Top, top left of the fridge. Oh, he knows where it is. Because I used to. Is it on the top left of the fridge? Yeah, apparently he knows where it is. Yeah, he knows where it is. I know, but I already started. <laughs> It is a Nintendo 3DS. I just got it an hour ago, and since we have some downtime, I'm checking it out right now. I'm super stoked. So, Garrett, can you scoot to your right a little bit? Right there. Okay, so let's kill these lights. I just have no idea where anybody is in relation to me. Alright, so we need. Let's bring this light up, and let's. Turn the other Tota. Uh, I want to see if I could still fit in here. Because I think we have the same picture about four years ago of me sitting in a dryer. The last time we did a laundry scene. This is how we're using our time productively. I'm ready to go. Where's everybody else? Alright, so let's try the quick. So. So I go. Um, I've lost all words. What time is it? Five twenty-five. Keep working, Michael. But real quick, why laundry rooms? That was a good question. I think laundry rooms are intimate. Yeah, exactly. It's an intimate space, but it's not like super intimate. It's not like a bedroom. So it's like this interesting middle intimacy place that I feel like no other room has. That adds kind of immediacy to something. Yeah. How do you figure that yeah. out? How do you figure that out too? I buy it. I think we're done with laundry rooms now. <coughs> I think I've, we're I've, done. I think we can pack that up. And, uh, yeah. 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 Scene 8A, take 6, where you roll. Okay. Alright. And... Act. Cut. That's a wrap. Wait, let's, let's get an official time of day. 5.44. Thank you very, very much, everyone. Michael, can you have your pocket stuff back now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I need to go room tone. Room tone. Oh, okay. Everybody quiet.